In the part three, we'll be using Substance Designer to create this cool looking pattern uh, that we're gonna use in Substance Painter afterwards. Uh, the system, note system is gonna be very simple but very easy to understand. So uh, let's head to File and create a new substance. Let's rename the graph name to Pattern01. Also, let's make sure we're working with 2K resolution and the PBR metallic roughness template. Okay, great. So as you can see, it generated a lot of different channels for us uh, since it's a PBR based uh, node system. So we don't really need all of them. Let's delete all of those and leave the base color uh, channel. Uh, and uh, let's start creating some cool stuff. So let's type in the library panel a shape like this and find this shape node. Okay. There are so many different parameters you can tweak, but we'll be focusing on this instant parameters uh, pattern tab. Uh, it's, as you can see, it generates a different type of simple shapes for us to start with. So uh, just play around. So we'll be using this square for now. Also, let's scale this uh, guy to like 50% to 0.05 like this. There are so many different parameters uh, in each node, especially in this shape one. You can tweak uh, uh, all the basic attribute instance parameters or uh, like to achieve different results of your shape. Uh, but we uh, want uh, to stick to some simple results. Let's uh, rotate this guy to like 45 degrees to make it diamond. Okay. So here we have our diamond placed in. Now let's search for the tile generator and we're gonna drop, drag and drop it to our system and make sure we connect the shape output with pattern input. So as you can see, it generated a brick type tile for us. It's not representing our diamonds. We want to head to pattern section and in pattern, uh, drop down menu, we want to make sure to select image input. So it's now representing our diamonds uh, as a tile pattern. Okay, cool. So I think we've generated the basic stuff and now let's head to some fun stuff, I guess. Uh, let's get to our library and um, actually let's type in car Cartesian, Cartesian. And actually, let's select this Cartesian to Polar Grayscale node. And uh, we obviously want to make sure to connect the tile generator output with this new node and the Cartesian to our base color shader. So now we have generated our basic pattern node system, which contains of the shape uh, and tile generator then we polarized it with Cartesian to polar grayscale node. And now the fun part begins. Uh, you can tweak every parameter you like inside like shape or tile generator uh, to achieve some different mesmerizing effects. So just go ahead and play with it if you're looking for something unique and different. Uh, again, uh, their possibilities are endless. And let's say I want to like, I'm happy with it, but I want to change the basic shape thing. Uh, I'm going to head back to shape node and change the pattern to, I don't know, let's say uh, to disc, you know, and instantly changes the overall mood of the final pattern uh, like, like this. So again, th this cool looking shape is super interesting, uh, like wavy uh, stuff. But let's head back to uh, our square uh, shape and let's tweak some basic tile uh, parameters uh, like amount of the instances, also the uh, symmetry radius, symmetry uh, rotation and uh, stuff like this. In most of the cases, I mean, I'm using Substance Designer to like experiment, you know, uh, you never know like uh, what happy accidents might happen to you. I'm just, 
like bashing some random stuff and trying to achieve uh, the results uh, I really like, like this, you know. This is just random stuff I've generated uh, on flight. Uh, and the result is is like awesome, you know, for me personally. I, I love how it looks uh, in terms of the shapes, you know. Then now I understand that I can transform the shape on top of my outfit uh, and to blend all the different materials and have this interesting look. For instance, just by tweaking this rotation slider, it's dramatically changing the overall look and feel of the pattern, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the overall pattern that we've created is pretty interesting as for me. I just want to make sure uh, and to like to see how it looks uh, without the polarization, because I really like how this 2D version, the flat version of this uh, pattern turned out. And maybe I'm gonna export this guy later on for my library to use it afterwards. And another thing I want to pay attention to is this library. It has a huge amount of different generators uh, that you can like mix and try uh, like those patterns or the noises. Uh, just uh, have a look and play with it. Let's finalize everything and let's select the parent size to 4K so we export the pattern in 4K resolution. Uh, also let's connect the polarization uh, node to our base color channel and we are pretty much ready to export the pattern. So let's head to this icon and press export outputs. Let's select the format, let's say PNG but you can choose whatever you like. Let's select this base color channel and uh, let's make sure we're exporting to the right path and press export outputs.